this is Majid Heydari from Ozenic Engineering. So today I would like to discuss about numerical stack and its application for micro LED design. So I will show you how you can design uh, uh, your multi-layer micro LED with numerical stack and how you can calculate the parcel factor, power density, and ter stimulus values. So and other parameters which are important for micro LED design. The micro LED that I would like to discuss today is based on uh, this link. If you go to this website, you answer this website, you can find the detail. But here, the, the information that I would like to insert in the numerical stack. So you can see we have a different layer, like gallium arsenide, aluminum gallium indium phosphide, aluminum indium phosphide, and also other parameters, other uh, layers. So the top line, which is related to the thickness of each layer. So I will show you how you can uh, put these uh, properties for, uh, for numerical stack. So this is the stack, this is the Guillaume stack. Here, in this part, we can define a material, like thickness, material property. Here, and we can access to the, like, the result like field, dipole, cursor factor, and also we can see the result here. We can uh, put the wavelength range in this part, and here you can find a, a layer that uh, a layer information, layer geometry. So here are the uh, stack results radiance, luminance, and parcel factor, and uh, so the power that we emit to the earth, so the index properties. So let's go to the software and, and show you how we can design it. If you open the ANSYS optics, so in the solver side, you can find a different solvers here. So FTTD, a stack and RCWA so are belong to the numerical FTTD. So let's open the stack. So if I go to the stack and click on the new project, so you can see that there is a solver here, stack. So if I right click on a stack and edit object, you can find a, a like we can insert our layers with information here. Like for instance, layer one. Layer one, if I put the layer one as like um, one micrometer, so, and so the material, for instance, if I put aluminum, and then second material, so 1.5 micrometer, and then material like aluminum, I mean, or, or, uh, uh, um, or for instance, indium phosphide. So you can see easily we can we can define uh, like uh, different layers. So here we can uh, uh, put the different value for angle. Here for different value for uh, frequency or wavelength. We can change the shape from wave frequency to wavelengths. So let's uh, because I designed. Uh, uh, I designed it before to save the time. So let's open the, I will open the, the existing example and then I will show you the result. So here is the example. So if I right click on a stack and edit object, you can see like, we inserted all the layer here. So, like this is the first layer, our first layer is gallium arsenide, aluminum, gallium, indium phosphide, aluminum, indium phosphide, and so on. So, now, like, we define our layer, so, uh, about the dipoles, because the uh, stack works in the dipole. So, if I click the dipole, so in the dipole, because I want to put the dipole, uh, 
uh, in the like uh, middle of the multi-quantum world. So multi-quantum world is our layer five, and I want to like put the and the thickness of uh, uh, layer five is 0 0.18 micrometer. So uh, middle. So for I, I put the, the dipole in the middle of that. So and also I, I choose the orientation as a as a random. So and uh, uh, let's let's uh, so because also I want to run the simulation from wavelengths of 0 0.55 to 0 0.7 for uh, 500 number of points. So uh, and. Uh, for the for the pearl cell, also I put a uh, like a same position of dipole, and you can see these are the field parameters. And so let's run the simulation. If I run the simulation, you can see it's, so it runs very fast. So now I can uh, see the uh, the results. So um, for instance, uh, we can see a different parameters here like dipole so radiance and uh, luminance uh, x, x three stimulus y three stimulus and z three stimulus versus theta so if i right click on that and visualize new visualize you can see these are the parameters so uh, here are different parameters, so different, like the blue is uh, uh, radiance, the green is luminance. Uh, so, because because it's hard to see the, the green, uh, so we can, we can remove just all the rows and keep just for luminance. You can see that luminous value, so, Radiance value, X3 stimulus, Y3 stimulus, and Z. So these are the information of, of dipole. So what the personal factor, you have a right click and visualize a new, new visualize on a personal factor. You can see, like I can change the, like uh, the x-axis to wavelength, and I can change the the unit to micrometer. You can see this is the like personal factor for the um, for the wavelengths of 0 0.55 to 0 0.7, and also we can look at the. Uh, the power, the power which is emitted to the air, so I can change the F to the lambda, and then you need to micrometer, and then like uh, because just I want to focus to the uh, upward, so I remove the downward side, so you can see we have upward and upward into the air, so this is upward the power emitted and this is the power emitted to the earth so you can see uh, like now we, we can have a big a clear picture of, of a different layer so and also I can look at the like uh, the index so this is our index so I can change the index the unit to micro so you can see the index value that we have in, in dipole so and also um, you because because in the numerical it's possible for you to write an X, X script so you can export to the script so you, you can see that this is a script so without using the GUI now you access the script and you can change the parameters here and you can run it and you can visualize the product. I hope you enjoyed this uh, numerical stack demo. Thank you.